on this. So hello everyone to this meeting of the well, of a JJF working group. We are very happy you, we have uh, a few participants already in, and I think we are getting many more participants. My name is Claudia Blinker. I'm the sports director of the Jiu-Jitsu International Federation. For those who don't know me. Um, so for those coming in, please mute yourself. We will uh, first well, start with a discussion and explain a bit. And if there are later questions, yeah, you can raise your hand and then unmute yourself and uh, ask questions. Uh, you can also in between write questions in the chat. We will see that we can answer them directly or eventually ask them then. And uh, also the meeting will be recorded. And uh, for those that haven't voted yet, as I said, we are very close. Uh, in the this year run for the uh, World Games Athlete of the Year. So uh, if you have not voted today, uh, vote today for our face out to make sure that we end up in the top 10. Um, that would be fantastic. Today we will uh, talk about the, the referee rules for 2024. So there is a document has been sent around which contains a proposal. Um, many things are not new. Uh, some things are a bit improved. Uh, if you have not yet downloaded the document, you can download it here on the JTF website. It's not yet publicly visible there because, as I said, it's only a proposal, but you can always revisit this link and you can also share this link. As I said, it's clearly a proposal and the uh, input is very much welcome. Um, we will today focus on the referee education and evaluation. And uh, well, my two speakers here are Peter and Dana. And uh, unless there's any questions for now, I will give the floor to Dana. Yes, thank you. Uh, welcome, everyone. It's uh, really nice to see that uh, our group of referees is interested in how we structurally work with, with the referees. Uh, as Claudia mentioned, um, we already have a working document, a valid document uh, called Referee Rules that uh, is dated 2019. Since 2019, there have been a series of changes, uh, both in the formats of the competitions and in a way in which we approach the referees that attend the different types of competitions. So there was for sure a need to renew this document, to update it, to make it again compatible to uh, the working of the JGIF uh, in the present day. Uh, the general parts of the document regarding the referee attire and so the normal conditions that you need to fulfill in order to be allowed to participate in a referee course for a continental level have not changed. Uh, what we focused on was uh, the manner in which the referees are educated, evaluated, and later selected for the events. Um, if you have any questions regarding the parts that have not been changed and that yeah, will stay in the same way in the, in the new document, you can always ask me. And uh, for the rest, I will give the word to Peter because uh, the first section of uh, the referee rules is regarding the education of the referees and uh, he, he has prepared the proposal on this. So Peter, you have the floor. <laughs> Thank Unless you. there are questions, of course. No questions. Thank you. Uh, for the people that doesn't know me, please unmute yourself. Yes. Um, for the people that doesn't know me, uh, I'm Peter Smith, come from Holland, and uh, that's all. Uh, I will uh, make my propo of uh, our proposal uh, with a. Uh, a view on my screen. It's uh, about uh, referee coaching. Um, can everyone in here uh, see my screen? Yes, okay. the screen is visible. Okay. And I interrupt you already now. I've put also the rules, uh, the link again in the chat. So for those that haven't seen it yet, they can also download not your presentation, but the rules that we now have as a proposal. Okay. One of the goals of the Jiu Jitsu International Federation is that all referees in the world act in the same way. The reason is clear in the way our gestures and movements are clear for every fighter, coach, and public all over the world. If we want this, we have to coach referees. So we need coaches and course instructors that work in the same way. To, to promote just that, the JDAF has asked me 
in function to uh, as a referee expert to take the lead for it together with a small group of referees called the referee working group it's Dana Motomans Dimitri Gantitis and uh, Fabio Carrillo. It was clear that a lot of referees were not fond of the way the referees were coached and evaluated. We heard a lot of noise like this. In one tournament, a referee could get a nine, and in another tournament, the same referee got a seven. That with no clear explanation why there is that great difference. So to standardize this for every referee in every continent all over the world, we make this new way of referee coaching. On every mat will be a coach mat responsible, who is active as referee and as referee coach. His or her job is, of course, being a referee on the mat, but he or she will also direct coach the referees on her mat. He will give the strong points to the referee that he has, and he will give the referee the points that should be done better. In this way, the referee can work on the refereeing directly and grow in a tournament. We think this is better direct coaching instead of uh, two months after the, the, the tournament, you get a paper, you have done this wrong, you have done that wrong, and that is why you have a seven. So this is one of our goals to go. First things to do is to make a standard for referees. What is expected from the referees? and how must referees perform their duty. We make, a, we, we, we is the referee group, made a form to use for the referee coaches to exam or coach the referee. And this contains the items of the standard of the referee that we made. We organize in future referee coach meetings to create a standard coach procedure and a standard report to the referee. Till now, are there questions? I would have one. I'm curious, how can you become a referee coach? Did you think about that? Yeah, this is what I told you. Uh, what uh, the, 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 the last uh, sentence is, uh, we have to organize in future referee coach meetings and it could be uh, like this. Um, um, we have a, a, a tournament where there is a, one of yeah, the people that could organize that coach meeting. Then we have three tatamis. We have three people. And then talk about this before we go to start that tournament. And that's the way... I hope in the beginning, and maybe in future, there will be an official uh, referee coach uh, course. Yeah? Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. It's it's a wish. It is not uh, for sure, but it is a wish. <laughs> what are the definitions of uh, the JGF referee? A referee should look alike all over the world, same clothes and so on and so on, move in a standard way, work in the same way, know the rules and make the same interpretation, and have a high technical insight. He or she can cooperate with other referees and the coaches they have on that tournament. This is what's important, what a referee should be. You have okay. First, we divide the presence of the referees, uh, referee in three parts. 
the posture and the movement on the tatami. I will try, uh, I will uh, explain this later. The second one is the technical insight. The third one is the cooperation between referees, coaches, and how to work with a video system. In the form, you will see the same. When you are coached, we have as, as coaches, uh, when you are coached, we have as coach um, to make a way of coaching that is also the same as the next tournament and the next tournament and the next tournament. So we make the, the same uh, three, three uh, parts and on the end of that form, we will make a report for the referee. This is the report the referee gets at the end of the tournament. He will be coached during the tournament and at the end he gets his end report. It could be, uh, we have talked about uh, his way of moving uh, during the uh, during the the fight, and uh, now at the end of the uh, the tournament, it was done very well. He has changed it, and now he sees better, and so on, and so on. It can be a report of positivity. Positivity. I'm sorry. The first part of the coaching is the posture and movement on the mat. Are there questions? Nope, we go on. This is the first part of our um, our coaching um, paper. You see posture and movement on the mat. This total is 30% of our uh, our um, coaching. Appearance. This one. Experience. Uh, appearance. Uh, clothing, how it should be. Uh, not with... Uh, <laughs> I've, I've got a, a, a guy. Uh, he was uh, refereeing in a tournament and he had his uh, shirt out of his trouser. I told him, don't do this. You look alike other ones, do it. A year later, I saw the same guy, or a, a tournament later, I saw the same guy, same procedure. And that is not good. They have to look like everyone in a nice way. The second one is uh, rest given uh, scooting. This is in short way, it is prevent escalation, prevent angerness. If you have uh, a hard fight, most of hard fights has one one guy or someone that um, have your career is oh I'm sorry. Uh, that's uh, there is one guy or girl is for 90% is the reason when uh, a game is too hard and uh, to escalation with angriness. And that is the referee because he has not conducted the game. So we have to prevent escalation of angriness. That's the part we look as coach. Use of voice. Um, Yeah, the, it's that's very clear. I think uh, in its combination of referee signs and what you say, distance to the fighters. If you have um, have to to walk, walk back because otherwise the fighters come to you, uh, then you're on the wrong, uh, wrong spot. Then you are too too close. So distance to the fighters. Conducting the game. Be and stay the boss of the mat. Clear and given scores. Fishbowl for everybody. One and a half seconds in the, in the air. It is 
a good DuPont is straight up uh, a clear two and three points DuPont. So everybody can see it. Giving scores at the correct time. First part, Ipon directly, was Ari at the end of the clinch. After tapping, put him first in start position and give the. Peter, uh, there is a the question, point. sorry. Yep. Go on. Our friend from China, the hand is raised. You are muted. Please. Hi, good evening, everybody. I got a question from China. Yeah. Uh, for the for those document, are they going to use as a national tournament also, or just for the JJF tournament? It is it is in uh, written in English, and you can use it uh, for your uh, national too. Uh, I used it for five years yep. now in national. Okay. So. Uh, okay. it, will be, uh, it will be documented and bring in, uh, you can use it. All right. For the person who is going to offer the points to those referees, it should be had the, has the uh, GJF qualified uh, referees, are they? For the coaches? Yeah. Yeah, it should be uh, people that uh, that are appointed as coach by the, uh, by the JJF. Yeah. All right, clear. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, um, giving scores at the correct time. For do and show, we have uh, some other criteria. Um, uh, focus on the match referee, perf on the performance, sit in an abstract uh, sort, no contact between uh, referees, and so on and so on. It's for dual and for show. Um, also, that is should be uh, if, if if you see a, a camera on the, the jury of the referees and do a show, and you see one referee laying half sleeping and the other one with his legs crossed and so on and so on. You you don't see um, people that are involved in the in the tournament, so. Yeah, we learn them to uh, to be uh, a jury that is good enough for television. <laughs> um, we go on. Uh, warding penalties in the correct way. Uh, this is they do it in 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 several ways to, several ways you see people do correctly i i'll wait i'll wrong one oh i'm sorry we'll go back i try to uh, yes that's what i want um, yes, can everybody see me? Um, there are people that um, that give um, um, penalties like this. Shino, Shino, boom. That is not rest given. Uh, if I get a chewy like this. And I was angry, I'm still angry. And if I do it in the right way, I turn to him, take the time for it, say, this is what you had. You didn't listen to me twice. So now you get a chewy. And I turn, do it to him too, maybe. Take it easy, then you may. Then you give it uh, a way that they can ease down. They are not angry anymore. They have the time to, okay, let's fight again. Yes, and that's what what we want. Um, I'm going with the sharing. 
application of rules. Um, do we do it in the right way? Um, is, yeah, looking for points and not only for penalties. You have a lot of referees that look for penalties. Oh yeah, we have, yeah, but this is a penalty. Yeah, but this is a penalty. And they don't, for, they forget the, to give the points. So a good referee gives points. And if it is necessary, then he will give a penalty. Then necessary or unnecessary breaks of the fight. Mate or Sonomama with no good reason is not the way to do it. This whole um, one third of the paper is 30% of your um, of your uh, coaching. Do you have a, a black thing on the top? Hello. Is there someone that can answer me? Yes, we can hear you. There is at the moment no question. And we see your slide. Sorry, I was coughing so that I didn't hear you. Yeah, but uh, that, uh, that's a thing from, uh, wind, uh, from uh, the, the Zoom. Mm -hmm. That is visible, but it's no drama. It's every, it's on the top. So, um, yeah, but, yeah. but I know I have to move it every time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, the second part of the coaching. This is the second of the coaching technical insight. This is the referee should be a technical fighter himself. He knows the techniques. He knows how to do it. He trains himself, and that is so Im important. So we go for awarding the points. Are the points technical correct? Are there epons? Was it a good throw? And so on. And then you have difference between med referee and video referees, or med referee and side referees. Who is right? Uh, are is the, the head referee constantly uh, not in the same idea as the video reference? Or are they all uh, three have the same idea? That's important. Awarding penalties is the same. Are the penalties technical correct? Also there. Is there a difference between the thinking of the video referees and the thinking of the met referee? Application of the rules. Are, is the referee implying the rules as they intended? It is black and white rules, okay, but there is an interpretation of rules and they should be the same interpretation by every referee in all the world. Also, adjustment of rule is the knowledge of the rule enough for the reason or a reason to fail. Um, I have to know the rules and I have I've done is 40 years international and always I said to other referees, do the same as me. The day before you go to a ref uh, to a tournament, read the rules. And believe me, after 40 years, I know the rules in my head, but I do it. So I have my focus on the rules the day after. And this is very important. So, and then the challenge. You can have 90 challenge, no problem. Because the challenge is something, it's done by a coach. And if you have uh, the possibility of 90, it's very much, uh, okay, take it 100, 100 challenges, and there are 98 challenges in favor of you and two in favor of the coach, then it is good. But if you have only three challenges and all three are in favor of the coach, that is wrong. So, the challenge is something they got and it's correct. It's correct they, that they can challenge because we can make fa uh, failures, mistakes, and they can correct it. 
But it must not be that every time every game we have that we are corrected by the coaches and they are right. So application of the rules, knowing how the rules are and how we to to um, how the rules are intended is very important. This this technical insight, this part of the paper is 40% of the score. Are there questions? Oh, for duo and show, uh, four parts, weapon throws. Um, this is, is there a good difference between the four parts? Uh, is there a weapon control? Is there a different show? Pure on technical side. Uh, I see Timon Chicos Serbia has a question. Yes, hello, Peter. Hello. I hope you can hear me. Uh, I think it's not a question. I just wanted to point out something regarding the challenges. So from my perspective and the tournaments I've been on, uh, the biggest problem, as I see as a referee, is that uh, video referees sometimes don't look for the action that was actually challenged. And that's why we have a lot of challenges accepted for the coaches because they looked at the wrong situation. That's what I just wanted to point out. And I think we should work on this with referees, how we should know which action is challenged. Agree. The challenge is only for for one thing, and uh, but the one thing that is challenged by the coach should be seen by us. And um, if the coach is right, then we have not seen it in the right way. Or if we are right, the coach didn't see it in the right way. So it doesn't matter. Agree. Well, yes, but if a uh, coach is challenging one action, for example, in the first part, and video referees are watching for some other action, then they're not correct, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, if uh, we should be, but that is uh, that is uh, part uh, three of the of the of the of the paper. Um, but I will come in into it now. Um, the way uh, we have to go to talk to the coach, listen to his problem. He gives one problem. Then we go to the to the player and ask if he agrees. Then we go to the to the table or do it by a microphone and give the same thing to the video referee. And the video referee only looks at that part that is uh, that is uh, asked by the coach and not other parts it should be but that is that's also a part of our education uh, to the referees agree T totally agree with you thank you are there more questions I have a small comment. Um, I think it's good to mention that the idea is, of course, that these rules are for all disciplines. I mean, you are now coming from fighting and focusing on fighting, and that is totally okay. Um, but so far, what you have presented is also, in a sense, applicable for jiu-jitsu. For a duo and show, it's always a bit different because there, yeah, people are sitting and show. But for jiu-jitsu, everything that you have mentioned now is, of course, also easily applicable for jiu-jitsu. And, well, the jiu-jitsu referees are also in a sense, in this group and also supporting this. So then it's just, this was just, in a sense, an extra comment. So this is not only about fighting, but so far everything is also easily applicable for jiu-jitsu because there are also rules, there are also penalties, there are also points. Yes, uh, in the, by uh, making this, uh, this uh, form, we have talked to uh, Benny from uh, Belgium. He is the, uh, the head of the duo and uh, asked him his uh, his uh, things that we should look at. And we took this into our, uh, our, this one. This is where everything uh, is uh, done in what I 
tell you uh, now in a bigger size. Um, and the blue things are made by uh, Benny. These are for duo and show. And uh, a few green things are for the YouTube changed because um, Alexander, I also asked him to look at it. Uh, Alexander wanted to have uh, some changes there and they will be in this form too. Are there other questions? Uh, maybe also just a little comment. Uh, Alexandra was part of the working group, so most of this uh, is applicable to Newaza as well, to Jiu-Jitsu, and Alexandra has seen it, has approved it, so uh, it's not like we're working uh, apart. That's what I meant, but you tell it in a better way. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. If there are no questions from now, then we go on with the uh, next one. The third part of coaching is cooperation between referees, uh, coaches, and uh, using the video system. Coaching of each other. We like to that a referee help, uh, is helpful to his colleagues. But we also like that the referee is open for help from the help from other colleagues when they help them. Don't do this between uh, two games. So when you change the the, the, the match referee, then hey, blah, 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 blah. no, 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 no. If you take time for it, take a, 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 a place where nobody can hear you and talk about it in a, in a quiet way. When you have time for it, coach is not saying, hey, you did this wrong. No, coaching is help each other okay um cooperation with the table referee it should be clear short in communication verbal and signs that's easy cooperation with video referee clear in short communication verbal and signs and if you have side referees at all time, at least one side referee in picture of the match referee. So there is a constantly two sides, two people that do the same. So if the guy or the girl that is inside of the match referee says something else than the match referee says, he looks around to the other one and looks if he agrees with the side referee, then he changes it or he agrees with the referee, the met referee, and he will stay. If you have your met referee, one of your uh, side referees inside, you have a good job at that, that part. Then use video as a met referee. Normally you don't use it, but there is a, a, a challenge then the referee should be open for disagreement and following the met responsible referee who is also looking at the, um, the video. And yeah, if they have another opinion, don't make uh, your head uh, from left to right from, oh, I don't like it. No, listen to them, do it. And they are right because they are in a majority. So don't make a fuss. Do what you have to do and change it. Use a video as video referee. A video, a video referee doesn't use the video. He does only use the video when it is necessary. At challenges or if both video referees not agree with the live site of the met referee. The met referee says uh, it's in Nippon, and both site referees said, no, 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 it could be a chewy because it was too hard. And then you can look 
quickly at a video, a very short time. You look at it once and then you make your comment, yes. Both side referees of a video refs says, okay, it should be changed. Then you change it. And for the rest, you're only looking live to the uh, to the fight. If I can interrupt you here a moment, of course. Because, um, of course. I think that what you mean and what we actually do and should do, you watch the fight live. And when you both video referees have a different opinion, then you look at the video without stopping it because the video that you are watching has a delay of five to 10 seconds. So you saw an action live, you both agree, ah, that was a chewy. Then you can turn to your screen and watch it with the delay. You don't need to stop the fight for that. Yes. Use the technical possibilities, make a delay of seven seconds, a delay of 10 seconds if you need it. But in my opinion, don't stop the fight to check for something that is not necessary to, to be checked. Yes, agree. Totally. Okay. At this moment, we have the third part of our uh, coaching um, paper. And also this one is 30% of the total. So we have 30, 40, and 30% 30 for the end conclusion. So when you score 100%, you are a perfect referee. And believe me, this guy or girl doesn't exist. We all make mistakes. We all make something. Oh, no didn't see it, and so on, and so on. So we can try to be the 100%, but it will not be. And don't don't make, make yourself uh, angry or sad because you didn't have the 100%. Try to be near it as high as possible. Then the fourth part of the coaching paper, the report for the referee. The report to the referee will contain the end conclusion. So he will be coached during the uh, tournament and he can change it, do what he's been told. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, okay. And when it does, uh, make a higher level, then it's good. I could um, say cooperation with the table referee. It's too long. It is not so good. And I talked. I talked to him. Don't do this anymore. Make it short. And the rest of the tournament, he makes short ones. I put here on this place. Done make here plus plus it's good he does what he's he does things that is told to him so the end conclusion can be a very positive thing on the end conclusion the coach will make this rule the level is below according or higher than the level he is. So if it is a continental B, it is a according continental B means that he is a good continental B. But if he gets, wow, he's so good. He does everything right. It's higher than the level B. Then I will uh, uh, take away according and below and it make it higher than their level and maybe I give the proposal to promotion it doesn't say that you will be promoted but there was a coach that said he or she I, I, I would give her a promotion and if this next tournament and next tournament you see the same 
you you believe you can bet on it, he or she will be promoted. Then on the paper will be remarks of the end conclusion, explanation of the results. Listen, I told you, you look too much to uh, penalties instead of points. And in the end of the tournament, you did the same. So you have to change this. This could be the explanation of the result that I am according, or maybe even below my level. So the explanation of the result, you get directly at the end of the tournament and not two months later. So you can talk about it. And of course, uh, on the paper will be the name of the referee coach because the referee coach will be uh, maybe asked by the head coach, why does he this do this and so on and so on. Are there questions? Maybe I have a practical question. Yeah. Uh, do you think that the referee coach uh, will have time to be himself or herself referee on the mat, coach everybody and write the reports during the tournament? He will not write reports during the tournament. Okay. During the tournament, he only... Um, I, will, I will take another... Wait, 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 wait. So well. You said that the referee gets his end report at the end of the tournament, and that's why I'm uh, asking for clarification. Uh, that is, that's a good question. The question is not, not the, the only thing he does is, and this is for himself, uh, um, I, have, I have to tell him, but maybe it is uh, 50 minutes later that I, that I can tell him. So I put this for, for myself and uh, I put this on this and um, okay I know I have to talk to him then you have talked to him and later on the tournament uh, you see uh, it is good he he does his job okay it's done Bam. okay at the end this one is a very short one and that can be done at the end of the tournament. Then all he has to do is uh, put away uh, mm -hmm. just below according because he is higher than and I will on the propose him. And on the remarks, I will put down uh, I will write it down so it is not not, uh, not a lot to do. Okay. Because I know what's here. I look at the paper and I see I have said this to him and it helps. And I say that to him and it helps. This is not so good. Okay, I will I will I will tell him this at the end of the tournament. Mm -hmm. That's all. So it could be uh, two, three words that okay. you know I have to tell him this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, thank you. Are there other questions? Timos, yes, one more question. Yeah. Do we know on how many fights are we gonna make uh, this report? For example, like five fights per referee, or we don't have these no. type of regulations? Here, here you uh, you see the the number of fights seen that I can make a. Uh, yeah, we call it Turven in Nederlands. Um, I, I've I put I've seen seven. I think Timon is asking: Is there a recommendation of a minimum so many or an average of so many? No, but you are on the total tournament. You are with the guy or the girl because you will not change the match anymore in future for our thoughts. You will stay with the team the whole tournament. So your team can be on another mat the next day, but it will be your team. So the same guy sees you two or three days in a row. So he will have seen enough.
fights of everyone, I think. Understood. Timos? Agree, Timos? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? There is a question in the chat. Um, if it's possible to also get an online evaluation, if, uh, well, they sent a clip uh, from a referee, maybe from a national event, uh, and then to basically ask, hey, uh, yeah, can you evaluate this referee? Would this be an option? I don't understand the question. So the question is, um, if you have an, a referee, some, so if you are a coach, for example, well, we have, let's assume we have in two years a pool of 50 coaches. And uh, then there is a maybe a referee that's actually in continental sea, and he is then on a small tournament somewhere at home. And then the a coach is not there, but the coach uh, maybe gets a video and uh, can help then the referee like this. Is this something also that yeah we could allow or uh... for the for, for for the I think for the lower uh, the lower ones uh, like. Uh, national uh, continental C, continental B, yeah, but I think uh, for continental A and higher, uh, you should have the coach uh, constant in uh, inside. And I I'm sorry, but I would agree with an online evaluation if I have the full footage of the event and I can randomly pick fights. Not that oh, yeah. somebody sends their best five fights and says, yeah, please evaluate me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, we don't agree. <laughs> you're right. So this is not possible. By this. Do the question marker uh, agree? Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay, thank you. Can we go on? Okay, the referee numbers used by head coaches for referee ranking. At the end, till now, every referee gets a point, a number, at the end of the tournament, or two months later. So we will not have numbers anymore at the end of the tournament. You know, I am a fighter and I have... Um, Uh, I am a referee and I am a world B. So I should have an eight because these are the points we're going to use. If you get an eight, you should be of you are uh, you're working at that moment as a world B referee. And if you are a continental B and you get an eight, it is possible. No problem. You get a nine, no problem. If you are that good, you get your nine. But if you are world B and you get a nine, then you know maybe in future I will have my world A possibility. But if you have a, you are world B and you get a seven, then you are way below your. Uh, status at that moment so you should work harder and be more prepared before you come to your tournament you know for sure but in the past you got a nine or a seven and you didn't know what it means now you know what it means this points we give is only for the head referee from the JJF that collect those points because these points are used for a referee ranking and that referee ranking in future should be uh, in sight for everyone that wants to know. So if I'm a referee and I want to know if I'm a good referee, I look at the ranking and I see, oh, I'm way down what I want, so I have to work harder. Or you're one of the top 10 of the world. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that is the future. 
the numbers we use is only for this, for the ranking, because this is uh, a question of many referees. They want to know how am I um, in, yeah, in, in, in the world? Uh, am I a world A and uh, I always get 8.5? Or am I that world eight and uh, I I I'm a, I'm a future Olympic level nine point five, so um, the end, the, the 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 ranking will be inside. These numbers will made by the JJF uh, at the, at the moment they read the uh, the explanation of the coaches. Are there questions? Okay. So this is what we in the group made because we wanted to have a standard way of referee coaching and the standard way of refereeing. So I hope and we hope you will agree with this and uh, then we can go on with our work. Thank you for, for joining. Are there questions? I think oh, Amran, Amran raises it. Yes. Amran, yeah. Amran? Yes, good afternoon. Uh, one question uh, about the next level. Uh, is there any uh, minimum time before to get the next uh, higher lessons or uh, only average score? In there our are no minimum times. I think that the next webinar will focus on the way that we select and the way that we promote. There are minimum times, but if somebody scores in two, three tournaments much higher than his level, that time can be reduced. But there okay. are minimum times because we strongly believe that experience is something that you build up and experience is necessary. Yes. So there should be minimum of times. Of course. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, if there are no questions anymore, and uh, Dana, did you want to say something? Uh, yeah. I think that for today, the, the meeting was only scheduled for one hour. So I don't think that now is a good time to go into evaluation and uh, and selection. But yeah, if we can agree that uh, what we have seen today is enough as a starting point, then we can schedule uh, a new webinar and Claudia will, uh, will make all the preparations where we can present the... Uh, yeah, it, it's not so difficult to prepare a webinar, but I was thinking more in the way of scheduling and finding the right time for everybody. Um, and then in the second one, we can focus on the way that we uh, we score and the way that we select, because I know that there have been lots of misunderstanding and lots of um, dissatisfaction regarding uh, the way that referees are selected. Uh, on the one hand, this is very good because it means that our group is a group of dynamic people who want to be selected and want to participate in all uh, all events. And on the other hand, it's a bit more difficult because um, yeah, it leads to frustration if you don't know why you are or not selected. So we, we are planning to make this procedure um, much more transparent than it was in the future. Yeah. Than it was in the past. I apologize. Uh, Gaspar, you have a question? Yeah, good afternoon from Spain. Thank you very much. Um, just a, a little question uh, about the levels as CA, Continental A. Uh, should the, the referee apply for this degree or it's done ex officio by the head referee? The current rules, and we have not changed that part, the current rules say that the referee himself can say, I've been Continental A for three years and I have good scores, can I go for World B? And 
the union, the head referee of the union can also look in their list and, and notice this referee has uh, an average of eight and he should be proposed for the for the World B license. So it can go both ways from the individual himself or herself or from the head uh, referee of the union. Thank you very or much. even from the head referee of the discipline itself. Not every union has a head yeah, referee course. necessary, but also if the head referee of a discipline says, hey, uh, you are good. Uh, so both ways are totally possible. Thank you all. Thank you very much. I don't know if there are content-wise questions still. I have also... Um, I yeah, sorry. Uh, can I maybe suggest for the next meeting that we maybe make a poll of uh, dates possible and then we vote and see how many of us uh, vote for the one, the highest one, then we arrange the meeting for that. Timon, that's a bit difficult that because it's an open meeting, so virtually everyone can attend. Um, you wouldn't know to whom to send the poll, and then you would have maybe people who would like to attend just to be informed, but are not really a relevant target group that would decide on which day you have your meeting. So I'm sure it will stay on Sundays as it is with the JGIF meetings, and normally around uh, 2 o'clock Central European time. Yeah, we try to uh, find times where, as I said, we have participants from Colombia to China. I'm not sure if we even uh, more east than China. So uh, if we use any other time slot than uh, for one of the uh, very east or very west parts, it's in the middle of the night and that's not so nice. Yeah, we do it to the 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock Colombia to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, that was for Maggie for the Philippines and so exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is a question, a short question from Imad, and then I think we have to close off. Imad? Yes. yes. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, nice to see you all. Uh, I, I'd like to ask, uh, can we have this evaluation of referees in a national competition? That means, can we ask for the GGIF to make evaluation of continental referees in a national competition. So we can bring uh, an expert uh, referee? No. Yeah. You okay. can ask for help. So if you say, hey, we uh, we want to make an evaluation, um, but we don't have an expert here. So you can invite, for example, Peter or any other referee, and they mm -hmm. can help you with evaluating your national referees. Then this can, but we can only do uh, the evaluations for international referees on international events. Okay, another question. But you can okay. you can use the the the, the forms, then yeah. you can you be used by the way of coaching. So uh, I will uh, talk with Claudia how how to do it. Uh, it's her way of thinking uh, work. It's her work, not mine. Uh, that uh, everything will be uh, uh, possible to download and work with it. Yes. Uh, if we have a, a continental referee in a continent, in Africa, in Asia, in, uh, in uh, Europe, can he participate in other continent championships or not? Yeah. Yes, no problem. And they have been participating from one continent yeah. to the other. But normally, uh, if it, if I talk about uh, uh, Africa, you know, they, they, they all, most all speak or French or Arabic and no English. So don't don't go with Arabic uh, to uh, Asia. Uh, don't go with yeah. Arabic to uh, Europe. Uh, please. Try to uh, to uh, convince your referees to uh, to learn English. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Question from Pablo from Colombia. Uh, hi, I have a, a question. Uh, who grants or gives the continental license? Is the each union, or it came from the JJIF? All referee licenses are coming from JJF. However, of course, we can't have our head referee go everywhere. 
So um, if a Continental Union wants to make an exam, they can send a question to uh, mail a JJF. And then we are basically with the technical commission checking, hey, is there a qualified referee that can take exams? This could be that's the head referee of the union, but it's not necessary. It depends a bit on uh, yeah, if this person is qualified or not. So it's not that the continental unions are give a referee's license are given by the continents. It's really a qualification level, and it has nothing to do with that the continental union referee. Uh, yeah, as said, they should be the same. So it should not matter if they are from Asia, Africa, Europe, or Pan America. Um, and that's why it's important that JJF sends out someone that can make a standard uh, graduation. Okay, great. Uh, um, we have uh, in America. Uh, just one Pan American tournament, uh, and sometimes we do a South American tournament. It qualifies as a international tournament for keeping the license. Well, this depends on if you if your sports director is sending it to us. We are happy to include tournaments, but uh, JJF needs to be informed about them. And if they are fulfilling the, the standards, it's very easy. But uh, so we are looking for tournaments in Pan America. Uh, if you have a tournament where you say this could be a ran ranking tournament then uh, send an email to mail at jjf.org and then uh, one can discuss and one eventually can even make referee examinations there. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Welcome. There was okay. another one, but it's gone now. I think, yeah, most uh, hands are down. We are also over the time. I have put uh, our contact details in the chat. So if you, uh, well, say you have a question, you have an idea, you... Uh, want to be a bit more involved, feel free to send an email to yeah, either me via sports director, to Peter via Peter Peter Smith minus jjf.nl or to Dana uh, at the Mux. Oh, this is your old last name. That is very difficult to pronounce uh, at gmail.com um, or uh, uh, the best to all of us. And then, uh, yeah, we can see if we can include these ideas also in the next uh, webinar. And also I've put again the link for the, the download. I said the download, feel free to share it. Uh, it's not the final rules, it's really a proposal, it's ideas, um, but that's why we don't have a public link yet on the website, because we don't want to confuse people. Then, thanks a lot for joining, thanks a lot, Peter, for this great presentation. Um, I would close the webinar for now, uh, the referee working group, sorry, for now, uh, and we will, yeah, as I said, have another meeting with more details, and uh, for those that are in the very east, I wish you a good night, and for those that are in the, no, other way around, no, in the very yeah, well, yes. Yeah, exactly. In the very <laughs> west, I wish you a very good day. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Nice Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you.